What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for MLB Saturday, August 20th. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm gonna go over my top picks for today's MLB slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay guys, we have a nine game slate tonight. So let's take a look at the pitcher position. So studs on the slate I like, Joe Musgrove and Christian Javier. But if you're looking to save some salary, roll the dice, take some risk at your pitcher position. Take a look at Chris Archer. He's got a nice pitching advantage here over a low salary batting team, the Texas Rangers. Chris Archer is pitching his best ball versus lefty batters only giving up a .415 OPS versus lefties. He's facing five lefties, and the Rangers have only hit six of his last 26 pitches. That's a .231 batting average. Chris Archer is only 6,700 FanDuel salary and only 600 more on DraftKings, averaging 18 fantasy points per game on the season, but he scored 18 21 and 31 fantasy points in the last three games he has an era of 4.15 now his record is only two and six and he's pitching an average of 72 pitches per game but he's got a good matchup here tonight and his price is low so i like chris archer here versus the texas rangers okay let's take a look at the catcher first base position a stud on the slate you gotta like is Paul Goldschmidt. He's 25 for 73 here versus Bumgarner. That's a 342 batting average and a 1.055 OPS. He's got four home runs, two triples, five doubles, 14 singles. So he's 4,800 FanDuel salary, 1,200 more on DraftKings. He's averaging 14 fantasy points per game on the season, and he's been on fire, scoring 34, 25, and 12 fantasy points in the last three games. And he scored fantasy points in all five of his last games, and he has a batting average of 339. So although he's expensive, I think he's in a fantastic spot here today. So I like Paul Goldschmidt here versus Madison Bumgarner. Now, if you want to save some salary at this position, take a look at Albert Pujols, and he's got a 64% batting advantage over Madison Bumgarner. Albert Pujols is batting 47% better versus lefty pitchers, batting a 1.034 OPS versus lefties. Madison Bumgarner pitching 18% worse than his pitch to lefties, giving up a .797 OPS to righties. Now, Albert is four for 12 here. That's a 333 batting average and a 1.012 OPS versus Bumgarner. He's 2,400 FanDuel salary. He's 400 less on DraftKings, averaging eight fantasy points per game on the season. He scored fantasy points in four out of his last five games. In two of those games, he went for over 35. He's got a batting average of 254. So I like Albert Pujols, Pujols here versus Madison Bumgarner. Okay, guys, it's time to announce the winner of our $25 weekly PayPal giveaway. And the winner is Justin Lilly. Justin Lilly, congratulations. You are the winner of this week's $25 PayPal giveaway. Please reply to our comment to collect your prize. 
Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you want to enter the drawing for $25 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won. And then we'll send you $25 PayPal. So it's that easy? And we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. Okay, let's take a look at the second base position. I like Gene Shigora. He's got a 21% batting advantage over David Peterson. Gene Shigora batting 17% better versus lefty pitchers, batting a .877 OPS versus lefties. David Peterson giving up a .740 OPS versus righties. Now, Gene Shigora, he's three for seven. That's a 429 batting average and a 1.5 OPS versus Peterson. I like this pick because he's only 2,800 FanDuel salary. He's 1,500 more on DraftKings, averaging nine fantasy points per game on the season. He scored fantasy points in four out of his last five games. He has a batting average of 281. So I like Gene Shigora here versus David, uh, David Peterson. Now guys, I know I totally butchered Albert Pujols' name and I don't know why I couldn't think of how to say it when I was, sometimes when I read the names, I just read it how I, how I see it and it comes out wrong. So I apologize for that guys. So at the third base position, I like Evan Longoria. He's got a 25% batting advantage over a low salary pitcher, Ryan Feltner. Even Longoria, he's batting a .816 OPS versus righties. And Ryan Feltner, he's pitching his worst ball by far to righty batters. 41% worse than his pitch to lefties giving up a 1.148 OPS versus righties. So even Longoria, Evan Longoria, come on, Evan Longoria. He's 2,900 FanDuel salary, 800 more on DraftKings. He's averaging eight fantasy points per game on the season, scored fantasy points in four out of his last five games. He has a batting average of 247. And Vegas thinks this is going to be a high-scoring game. 11 runs scored in this game. That's their over-under. So I like Evan Longoria here versus Ryan Feltner. Real quick, guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30-day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the Position Optimizer, where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new Player Trends tool, where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, let's take a look at the shortstop position. Did I already give you Tommy Edmond? I think I did. There's a lot of good batters here versus Madison Bumgarner. Fantastic game to stack here versus the Arizona Cardinals. Let's see if we can find another pick here. So a stud that I like is Trey Turner. He's got a 33% batting advantage over Braxton Garrett. Trey Turner batting 23% better versus lefty pitchers, batting a 1.019 OPS versus lefties. Braxton Garrett, he's pitching 11% worse to righties as he does lefties giving up a .794 OPS versus righties. Trey Turner is one for one here versus Garrett. That one hit was a home run. He's 4,000 fan dual salary, 2,200 more on DraftKings, averaging 12 fantasy points per game on the season. He scored fantasy points in all five of his last games. He has a batting average of 304. So I like Trey Turner here versus Braxton Garrett. 
Okay, moving on to the outfield position. So I like Mookie Betts and Juan Soto. A couple of studs I like at outfield. But if we want to save a little bit of salary here, take a look at Jesse Winker. And he's got a 35% batting advantage over James Caprillion. Jesse Winker batting 23% better versus righty pitchers, batting a .875 OPS versus righties. James Caprillion, he's pitching 13% worse to lefties as he does righties, giving up a .791 OPS versus lefties. Now, Jesse Winker is 3 for 9 here versus Caprillion, and he's 2,900 FanDuel salary, 1,100 more on DraftKings, averaging 9 fantasy points per game on the season, but he scored fantasy points in all 5 of his last games, and he has a batting average of 228. So I like Jesse Winker here versus James Caprillion. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smickety smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this MLB slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.